Hey folks, Necro Black here, and this is Necro Black vlog number 15. And this is probably going to be the final Necro Black vlog before New Year's. Actually, the final Necro Black vlog of 2011. <laughs> wow, um, it's crazy. But uh, yeah, this is this is a this is kind of a special vlog because here we are, two days before Christmas Day. Um, a day, it's the day before Christmas Eve, and, uh, a lot of big things going on here, you know, a lot of, a lot of big things. Uh, one thing that, uh, that comes to mind is, we are already on the countdown to 2012. Already on that countdown. Um, to, to that fateful date, December 21st, 2012. People are already talking about... Oh, the end of the world is going to happen. The end of the world is going to happen. No, no, no. I've said this once. I've said this a million times. Um, it's not going to end. The world is not going to end. It's it's never, 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 never going to end. I mean, the world is probably going to change for the for the uh, the human, you know, the human species. But it's never going to end. You know why it's never going to end? Because it's just not meant to be, you know? We're humans, we're resourceful. I think we'll probably die out eventually, but not in 2012. <sighs> yes, so I'm getting into the Christmas spirit. I'm getting my, uh, I'm not in my Ebenezer Scrooge, I'm just in a nice little top hat thingy. I don't know where my, my Santa hat is at. Not a clue. I don't remember where I put that. <coughs> oh yeah, I'm definitely in the Christmas spirit. I'm under the weather. And speaking about being under the weather, speaking about the weather, there's really been no kind of snow. I mean, they, they, they've been talking about there's a possibility that there might be snow and stuff, and... What do you call it? They've been saying that there's a possibility that snow might hit us Christmas Day. But it's such a light flurry that it won't really matter. <laughs> you know, and, and it's kind of, it kind of sucks because that's the case. But, eh, I guess technically, technically we'll finally have a white Christmas here in New York City. Uh... Yes, like this. So, getting on to uh, getting on with this vlog. Basically, I have a whole lot of uh, plans and ideas of what I want to do for the next year. I have a, I have a few goals. I've achieved a few goals this year. Um, got a got to open up my wrestling company. Right? Your Pro Wrestling. Um, <clears throat> we're our first show in November. Um, got to make new friends, meet new people. Got a new girlfriend. You know? Um, basically got to meet new people, try new things. And uh, I actually went through the through the change of cutting my hair. Now I know this isn't the first time I've shown y'all my hair cut, because uh, if anybody's known me, if anyone's watched my old vlogs, they know that in my old vlogs I had longer hair. I actually had a ponytail, and now I kind of don't have any kind of ponytail whatsoever. <clears throat> I got a little fro walk. See? A little fro walk. And there goes the horny cat. Fro walk. See? Go away, you're in my shot. Get out of here. Anyway. Well, 
I still have other goals that I want to achieve. Like, I actually managed to lose weight this year, which was pretty cool. Um, I went from a 300-pounder to a 200-pounder, like, within a matter of months. Um, I went back up. I'm not a 300-pounder anymore, but I'm in the upper 200-pound range now. Um, and I was already in the upper 200-pound range, so I'm almost a 300-pounder again. Damn it, I gotta pay my gym bill. Uh... And I've had my hardships. I've had my hardships. Like, I lost my regular job this year. My regular job, uh, which was doing security. But I also did my little freelance thing here and there, and, you know... And, uh, along with the wrestling and everything, it was pretty cool, which... Um... I actually started wrestling again this year. I've been involved in wrestling throughout the year, which was pretty cool. And... Now, I've got a lot of plans set. A lot of plans set. And the reason why I have a lot of plans set is because of the fact that if I don't have these plans set, I'm not going to have anything to do in the future. <coughs> People tend to think that uh, if you don't plan ahead... You can just be, you'll be prepared for anything. A lot of people think they can be prepared for anything, even if they don't plan anything ahead. Which is completely untrue, because if you go and you do stuff and you don't exactly try to, you know, come up with a basic idea of what you're going to do, then you're pretty much lost. You're pretty much lost. I gotta get new gauges. I gotta get new gauges. <clears throat> ah, there we go. Okay. So, my plan for for 2012 is to finally go overseas and wrestle. That's my plan. That's my intentions. That's my goal. By the end of 2012, by this time next year, I want to have already wrestled overseas. Be it in PR, be it in DR, be it in, like, Europe, Japan, or, you know, or Australia. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta avoid the Joeys and everything. You know. But I want to have wrestled overseas. It's something that I've always wanted to do. I want to, I actually want to wrestle in Mexico also. Um, I'd be a bad guy over there because of Puerto Rican. <laughs> but um I mean I wouldn't intend to be a bad guy it's just that you know Puerto Ricans aren't exactly the faces in Mexico there's only one Puerto Rican that's a face and that was Conan <laughs> that was K-Dog K-Dog you know he wanted you to peel it, to toss his salad and peel his potatoes. I don't know why. I don't know why he wanted you to eat his ass and cut him up. But, whatever. Anywho. Yeah, I've been stuffy. Don't mind me. I actually have to blow my nose. I actually have to blow my nose. Give me a second. <laughs> Sorry about this. <laughs> Most people would pause for this, but I I, I can't pause for it because I just restart the whole video. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Good thing to have napkins around. Oh, disgusting, wasn't that? Yeah, all right. <laughs> it really wasn't. It was just whatever. <sighs> okay. But yeah. And it's funny how I caught that cold because uh, I, it, I was making out. And she had a cold. Best way to catch a cold. What can I say? <laughs> um, but yeah. So basically, um, you, when I've been wasting your time for like the last ten minutes, um, 
basically the whole purpose of this vlog is to do something I haven't done with a lot of other vlogs except for maybe I would say number 12 and number 13 which was uh, giving you an update on me you know people who tend to who tend to vlog they vlog about a lot of various subjects a lot of various subjects and I do too I do too <coughs> like my last vlog was about bullying and PETA no not Peter as in Peter Griffin but PETA as in you know people for the ethical treatment of animals you know um, Wow. Yeah, I really brushed that mohawk into my hair now, didn't I? <laughs> um, but yeah, the last vlog was about bullying and PETA. The vlog before that was about love, loss, and acceptance. The vlog before that was about change and religious beliefs. So, that should tell you that this vlog series isn't just about me because it's really not I mean it is my personal opinion on a lot of subjects and a lot, and a lot of things but it's really more so um, <clears throat> it's really more so about that's my niece in the background in case you're wondering it's really more so about just informing people about stuff you know like for yeah it's sunset over here for example like I was saying, people believe that 2012, like two days ago, was the beginning of the countdown to the end of the world. Uh, that would have worked so much better if you would have been able to hear me. If you would have been able to hear it. But it worked terribly. <laughs> I don't know why but this thing always does this. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. People thinking that 2012, this that that two days ago, is that two days ago, two, uh, December 21st, 2011, was the beginning of. They thought it was the beginning of the end. It's the beginning of the last year of mankind living and everything. And it's the, it's the beginning of the final year of Earth's existence and the universe's existence. And it's really not. No. It's really not. No way. You know, you want to know what it is? You want to know what yesterday was? It was the beginning of the final year of the passing house that we are in right now. Sorry. Stuffy knows. It is the beginning of the final year of the final phase in which this we go from the house of Aquarius into the house of Pisces. So December twelfth, December twenty first, two thousand twelve two thousand twelve we're passing from the house of Aquarius into the house of Pisces because for some strange reason the the astrological belt or whatever or you know the phase isn't going forward it isn't going forward so it's actually going backwards so doesn't Pisces come before Aquarius well anyway I can bring that up right now but I'm, I'm not but it's it's phasing from either Pisces into Aquarius or from Aquarius into Pisces something like that but pretty much pretty much all 2012 all of December 21st 2012 all that's gonna represent is that we're gonna make a, 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 a astrological shift from one house to the other house and everybody's gonna wake up on the 22nd and be so far behind on Black Friday Christmas shopping. <coughs> Daddy, for Christmas, 
Yeah, yeah, we're supposed to die before Christmas. That was my sister, by the way. Um, yeah, we're supposed to die before Christmas, and you know what's going to wind up? You know how we're going to die? We're going to die of exhaustion. Why? Because the consumer is going to not buy what they need to buy, which is Christmas gifts, for December, 20, for December 25th, and they're going to go out there, and it's going to turn into Black Friday 2, the redemption, and it's going to and it's going to be people trampling over people, trampling over toddlers, trampling over children, people trampling over buildings, just trying to get their Christmas shopping done. Meanwhile, the smart motherfuckers like myself, watch it. Thank you. You almost spilled it right on the computer. This is my niece. <laughs> now. What it's going to lead to is people being so far behind on their Christmas shopping that everyone is just basically going to be destroying each other, like, you know, and you're going to have the smart motherfuckers like myself, who will have already done their Christmas shopping during the summer and during the fall and during the winter, during the beginning of the winter, sitting there looking at these people like, well, uh... Perhaps you should have thought about that before you decided. Well, I'm gonna make sure that me and my family are well taken care of for the end, which isn't guaranteed. But I promise you, I promise you, we're going. We're gonna be prepared. I swear to goodness, we're gonna be prepared. And then people are just gonna sit there and go crazy and say that and you have the guys like me who are going to be well prepared and my friend Madison who is on the phone sending me text messages and uh and my friend Alex who he's not on the phone right now but he, he will be and my boy Dark you tall bastard this <laughs> and uh yeah, we're all just going to be sitting there smoking cigars and looking at y'all like you're stupid. So, if uh, you guys are really, if you're in the New York area and you you want you wish to prepare for something that's not going to happen, suggest you get one of these booklets, right? Yeah, one of these booklets. It has like a whole bunch of emergency numbers and stuff in there and the things you can do, you know? You know, and uh, emergency information and all that other stuff. Get yourself prepared. And then on December 22nd, 2012, while you're sitting there scrambling to get Christmas gifts for your loved ones, after you spent all your money on your survival kit, I will be sitting here sipping on milk. Because Corova Milk Bar is closed now. With a scar in hand, my top hat, with my peoples, and laughing hysterically. And there you go. You know, ladies and gents, that was a brief, brief, brief update on me. And, uh,. You know, I don't know if this is going to be the final vlog of 2011. Unless something big comes up. This may just be the final vlog of 2011. And if so, so be it. If it is, I will see all of you in 2012. Oh, and by the way, there is one thing that... Today is the one of the final days that VF Store will be open, so big ups to VampireFreaks.com for maintaining the store being open in New York City down on 11th Street and Avenue A for uh, the last three years. Much success to uh, VF and everyone, and um, this is it. This is, this is Necro Black. This is the vlog, and I'm out of here. Peace.